everybody and welcome to Let's Look at Robot Roller Derby Disco Dodgeball, the beta version, as you can see by that kind of purple magenta text down there. This is one of those games where I'm going to explain what it is and then 80% of you are going to be like, you know, you're going to have the same reaction I had, which is, why didn't anybody think of this earlier? And the other 20% are going to be, well, actually, there's a mod for Quake 3 and Unreal Tournament 2K4, yada yada. This is... Online multiplayer first-person shooter, but instead of, you know, having guns or swords like in chivalry or something like that You play dodgeball, so this is a, a robotic Futuristic dodgeball simulator if that makes sense. It's basically like an arena-based first-person shooter But you're throwing dodgeballs instead of actually uh, shooting people. We're just gonna jump into a quick match here um, This is currently in beta. It's uh, got a green light campaign going on, but it is actually available available for purchase as well It's targeting a $10 price point when it actually comes out but is currently $5 as it is in a, uh, a state of development. And what's nice about this is that A, great idea for a, uh, a multiplayer game of course, but also has online multiplayer. I, see, I feel like I've spent so much time this year being like, oh this game's like really great, but uh, I would like it so much better if it actually had online multiplayer. This just has online multiplayer, uh, which makes it a much more palatable experience, and it also has bot support, so uh, that makes it a little bit more uh, of an easy sell, even in its early state. I played like two or three hours of this last night uh, with the five or six people that were actually online, and it was a whole lot of fun. Uh, I would definitely encourage you guys to vote for this on Greenlight if you like what you see, even if you're not going to purchase it for yourself right off the bat. This is still, you know, let, let's get the elephant out of the room here. This is not the most impressive looking game, at least in its current state. It is, uh, you know, one of the most Unity-ish looking games I've ever seen before in my entire life. Uh, largely as a result of the kind of the lighting that looks a lot like the lighting in a game like Paranautical Activity or even uh, Legend of Dungeon. One of these days I'll hit one of these robots, uh, but my, my hope of course is that uh, a lot of the stuff that you're seeing is work in progress and there's still some work to be done. But the core gameplay itself already works really, really well, so I'll explain what goes on here. Um, essentially, there's three different game modes, we're playing the, the most basic one of all of them, which is the deathmatch so far, or team deathmatch I should say. There is no free-for-all mode uh, in the game yet. Uh, and, you know, it's 3v3, uh, you can set that to higher uh, parameters if you're interested. And all you do is you kind of like mouse over the dodgeballs to pick them up, those, those are your ammunition, and then you can charge up your shot with the left mouse button, uh, and you can use shift as a boost, you, you know, you can see that we're all robots here, and you can also uh, charge up a jump with the space bar, which allows you to get some pretty ridiculous air off of a ramp like that, for example. So I'm on the blue team, I'm gonna be trying to hit the red team. Uh, it's up 9 to 5 right now, and you know, one of the areas where the game lacks right now is that there's not much customization when it comes to creating these lobbies beyond the number of players and the type of game mode. Uh, uh, so, we, we can't change like the score limit or anything like that, it's always going to be first to 25, at least for now, but uh, that's probably something that I have to imagine is uh, on the docket for uh, when the game gets a little further along. So there are actually uh, scores that you can get, or points that you can get for certain stylish types of kills as well. And these are a little bit barren right now, uh, but certain things are like quick draw, which is like you just picked up a dodgeball and then within a, a very small, oh it was so bad, uh, within a very small interval of time you, you throw it and actually hit an enemy. You can also catch the balls in midair and throw them back, uh, or not even, well the ball is in midair I mean, I'm not just well, uh, the, the player is in midair. I got denied right there and what that means is uh, I hit him with my dodgeball as he had his fully charged I think, so he was like about to shoot and then it's like denied, anyway, um, you can get a feel for all that. Most of the, the combo stuff, or the high score stuff comes from being in the air right now. So it is possible as mentioned to catch a ball that has been thrown at you. But it's a difficult thing to do, because you have to basically have your mouse over the ball as it approaches you, and then for like a split second it'll change color and you can click and catch it. You get points for it, uh, at least most of the time, especially if you turn it into a kill afterwards. But it's also extremely difficult to pull off, especially consistently, so that should be- OH HE CAUGHT IT! Absolute fucking scum! You know, the bots are on easy, but they're still fairly formidable. So what I really like about this game so far is, again, A, it's online multiplayer, and it, it's weird to say that that is a, an overwhelming positive, but I played so many awesome games with awesome ideas for multiplayer that were exclusively local this year. I mean, games that are really, really good, but would just be substantially better if I could actually have the ability to go online and play them with friends. Like, for example, Towerfall is an example of that. Uh, Megabyte Punch. I'm not saying these games are necessarily uh, bad by any stretch of the imagination. By and large, they're actually very good. Uh, but it's frustrating to have kind of you know, ruined potential to some extent because I, I have to, you know, sit at home and play them with somebody else when maybe not everybody has that opportunity or if I just like to mix it up and play against strangers, for example. So, it's cool that this has that right out of the box and it has it so early in development. This is not slated to come out until mid-2014. Also, the, the physics are actually just really, really satisfying. Um, 
moving around takes a little bit of getting used to, and shooting takes a little bit of getting used to as well. Because, uh, you know, you have to lead your targets in a lot of games. Uh, but in this one, you very much have to uh, account for the physics. It's not just like you're shooting a gun and in, uh, you know, 0 0.01 seconds it's going to arrive at its target. You know, depending on the amount that you charge your shot, it has an arc. Uh, it could have a bounce. You can get ricochet kills off the ground and off the walls and stuff like that. Uh, and, you know, people move and people can move quickly depending on whether they choose to use their boost. Uh, sometimes this happens. I think I encountered some kind of small bug there. Great soundtrack as well, which is uh, important to mention. The, the main takeaways uh, that I have from a negative standpoint right now uh, are that, you know, I don't think the game looks particularly impressive, and there is kind of a dearth of, of people online, so I'm hoping that that uh, is something that uh, gets kind of... Uh, ooh, I thought he maybe had a dodgeball. Now he does! Okay, this is scary. I hope that's something that gets rectified, and that's why, you know, even if you're not as interested in purchasing the game, if you're interested in, in seeing this on Steam later, I would encourage you to, to vote for it, because obviously, you know, the ability for this to get out to a wider audience uh, for an online multiplayer game uh, makes it uh, a substantially easier sell. So, we're about to win here, and then I'll show up the other game modes, uh, at least one of them. Weirdly enough, uh, as much as I love uh, dodgeball, and again, I can't stress enough that it seems like this is one of those ideas where, when as soon as I started playing it, I was like, why has nobody ever made a, a first-person dodgeball game before? Although, unless, uh, unless I've uh, missed it at some point, which is also theoretically possible. Um, because, you know, it's one of those ideas you come up with when you're a kid. You're like, oh, how awesome would it be if they took, like, the Unreal Tournament engine and made a dodgeball game out of it? You're like, yeah, but that'll never happen. Well, it, here it is. I should also point out this is... Oh, I got it, motherfucker. Uh, I should also mention that this is uh, a one-man joint developed by, uh, again, named Eric, who was previously an iOS developer. I, I guess I shouldn't say previously an iOS developer. He could go back to iOS at some point. It's not like he's left his job at Apple headquarters or anything like that, but his last games were on iOS, so... As far as I know, this is his first uh, commercial PC release, which is cool, especially that this is being made by uh, just one dude. Oh, I really thought I could get the hit there. Uh, it's really nice. A lot of my kills so far have been like really, I don't know, kind of like, yeah, through the dodgeball, it hit him in the face. Good to go, right? Um, but uh, I, you can really get some really stylish ones, like when you go off these ramps and you actually like turn around, 360, no scope someone in the face. It feels good when you get like a nice ricochet or you catch a ball that's been thrown at you and then throw it back. Uh, it's cool, and there actually is a game mode, which is, uh, I think it's called Score Attack. Ooh, that's not very good at all. Uh, it's called Score Attack, and what this, uh, allows you to do is, uh, get points for your kills, and the first person to, or the first team to X number of points wins. So, that's, a uh, Deathmatch there. It's pretty simple. We're gonna quit out of this, and we're gonna go to Create a Match, and we're actually gonna play a game of Hoops. So, we'll play with, uh, six bots on a random arena, and sure, we'll make it a public game, even though there's only one other person online right now. So this is Hoops, and the way that Hoops works, uh, as the developer described it to me, and as I can, you know, vouch for being accurate as I played it last night, is it's basically like, uh, basketball, if everybody had a ball, and you could also use that ball, uh, to take players out of the game. So, you know, basically you can use your, uh, standard dodgeball, abil dodgeball abilities for defense, and the way you can do that is just by hitting someone, and that takes them out of the game for a few seconds. Or, you could use the ball as a, a projectile, to try to score goals, and this is, uh, again, first person to 25. What's really cool about this mode, um, is that first, you know, okay, this guy's glitching out just a little bit here. He killed me?! What, he's like a walking landmine or something. Um, what's really cool about this game mode is that, yes, you know, you can, you can play it as if you're just playing traditional basketball, but you can also do, well, not traditional basketball, but you can also do, like, really awesome skill shots. Like that one, for example, uh, allows you to kind of, like, throw the ball, ricochet it off the back, and by ricocheting it off the back, it bounces through the hoop and then comes back to you. And you can just do it over and over and over if you've got the skills. It's a good time to point out, actually, that uh, an important piece of the puzzle that I did not mention here. You're probably wondering why I'm throwing it through the back of the basket. You can't throw it through the front. Otherwise, that would probably be far too easy. You could just stand on one side of the map and hit people with it. Um, I haven't really had any coordinated games of, uh, of hoops so far. So we haven't... What I, what I think would be really cool is to get a team together, maybe, you know, three or four people, and then have, you know, some people as dedicated defenders and some people as dedicated uh, shooters, and you could, you know, pass the ball up court, for example. This is a really good map to demonstrate that uh, ricochet ability, uh, which is cool, but it's also high risk, because most of the time those shots take a long time to set up and you're just standing in the middle of the court. There actually is a good deal of strategy that can go on in, in the game so far from what I've seen. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of stand here and be a little bit of a, uh, a cherry picker and, and get as many of these goals as possible. Soundtrack's really good as well. Uh, I hate to do this because I've forgotten the guy's name, but it's something Wombat, like Infested Wombat or something like that. Um, who also did the music for the Super Hot trailer. In any case, there we go. So we're just gonna keep uh, harvesting balls, basically. Don't take that out of context, please. And shooting them through the hoop. And this is uh, probably my favorite game mode 
as of right now. And the reason for that is that, um, I don't know, it's just something a little different. It kind of reminds me of, like, playing American Gladiators or something. Like, it's a good American Gladiators prototype, even though, obviously, it's not directly based on the property. Uh, let's just stay still for a second, see if I can get the greatest ricochet of all time. Oh, almost. Well, I can probably go back and harvest that one up again anyway. Uh, I really thought that that would fall off the edge. Sadly, no. What I, You know, the game's still early on in development. What I think it's really aching for is something that like really apes traditional dodgeball if that makes sense so you know you have two teams maybe three or four people depending on the size of the map uh, and then there's a bunch of balls in the center and everybody runs in after them uh, and then uh, you know once you get eliminated you're like off to the side until someone catches a ball or something like that seems like a no-brainer inclusion and uh, judging from what the the developer said uh, when he was in the lobbies last night because he was actually playing the game as well um, that seems like something that could be added in the future which is cool as of right now it's five bucks which is is super cheap and it already has built-in uh, online multiplayer play so you can play with bots if you want that's probably the oh I, I did get the score there though at the end which is cool um, that's probably the least definitive way to appreciate the game uh, if you can get some friends together that would definitely that was just stupid to me uh, that would definitely be way more fun like playing with human players uh, and, and trash talking is, is the meat of the game at least so far but the fact that the bots exist and the fact that the infrastructure for online multiplayer exists and works is just you know it, a nice change of pace in and of itself uh, from a year where there's been a lot of games that I've played where I've been like, yeah, it's really good. By the way, it's local multiplayer only. Oh, no. Right? Like, not, that's not necessarily anything wrong with the local multiplayer movement, except as, a, you know, an adult who lives in a house with his live-in girlfriend and, you know, doesn't necessarily have people coming over all the time. Like, if I still lived in the house that I lived in in college, I'd be like, yeah, what is this nerd talking about? Who cares about online multiplayer? Just get seven friends together and a bunch of beers and have some fun. Unfortunately, that, that might have been a weird little bitch there. Unfortunately, you know, uh, well, maybe not unfortunately, but unfortunately for a lot of those games, uh, most people that I know are not in that situation, or at least not in that situation anymore, uh, where it's it's practical to get a lot of life out of multiplayer games. But, you know, some people are, some people aren't. Anyway, that was a long tangent, and basically the, the take-home message is I really appreciate that this has working online multiplayer. And again, I played it for two or three hours last night and encountered uh, basically no difficulties. I think the tough sell here is that, at least in its current state, it very much looks looks work in progress, you know? Again, I can't stress enough that this looks extraordinarily Unity-ish, and it is made in Unity. There's nothing necessarily wrong with that, except that you know, it looks a little generic, I guess, but ho hopefully uh, a lot of the presentation elements will be ironed out. But even if they're not, the core gameplay itself uh, is just really satisfying. Like, the, the velocity and the, the bounces on the ball, it, it's hard to put it into... Uh, into words that are like objective. Okay, that was a really good shot at the end there. Um, but it, it just feels right. Like the, the physics when a ball bounces off the wall just feel really good. Also, what does it need? It needs like a really high quality, high fidelity capture of uh, the sound of those like red rubber balls bouncing against a structure. Just like the, you know, foomph. I, I, I obviously am not a Foley artist myself. Um, they are possibly gonna be kicking our ass. Luigi, give me my ball back. I much prefer to play offense. Maybe I'll try playing defense. See how this messes up the uh, messes up the AI. Okay, so whenever I get the opportunity, I will then uh, try to throw some ricochets in here. It's really, really satisfying when you actually get the physics right and you can bounce the ricochet off, and then you end up in a perfect position to like catch it on the way down. That one went far too far. Like you don't have to charge every shot all the way. Uh, but this is a game where I really feel like this has a lot of potential, like, uh, oh, did that did not work, okay. I killed Luigi with that on a ricochet, okay, that was an accident. Uh, I really feel like this has a lot of potential, and this is exceptionally accessible. I really feel like a lot of people, you know, what, what you see is what you get. You just pick it up, and then in, in, you know, 10 or 15 seconds, you're already, you know, getting your first kill and figuring out how to do it. Even the developer himself, um, was getting his ass kicked by some of us in the, in the lobby sometimes. He probably played better than us on average, but, um... Uh, it's certainly not a game where, you know, it's like Counter-Strike or something like that, or Dota, where uh, if you go up against someone who's better than you, in all likelihood, you are going to consistently lose. Um, at least so far, it's been, um, maybe at high-level team-based strategy, it's different, but at least in the game's infancy right here, uh, it, it seems like everyone can jump in and have a lot of fun. Now, maybe he was just uh, sandbagging us, you know, hustling us to make us uh, enjoy the game a little bit more than we otherwise would have, but uh, I don't think that would have been necessary, in all honesty. We are coming close to the end of this match. I'm just going to see if I can get some more points here. The AI is actually, you know, to its credit, again, I don't think that's the, the definitive way to play through the game, but it's nice that the bot support exists. Um, to its credit, the AI is pretty good most of the time. Uh, ooh, okay, good kill there. I didn't even get the most goals. One of the, one, yeah, there you go. Of course the AI is competent. They actually got more uh, baskets than I did. Of course, I was going for the uh, kind of cheesy... Uh, the, 
um, bounce off the wall multiple times. It appears that maybe random is not necessarily working for this, uh, or maybe there's only actually two maps that actually you can play hoops on. So, you know, I think, I think we've seen more than enough of hoops for you to get your idea of what goes on here. So why don't we disconnect, and we will check out the uh, last game mode here. So we're going to go to create match, and this will be score attack. Oh, there actually is elimination. I did not know that. So we have hoops, score battle, elimination, and deathmatch. That might have been added yesterday. I don't think so, though. Anyway, we're going to go with score battle because I've not played elimination. So the way that this works, this is, um, you know, full disclosure, probably my least favorite game mode uh, of all of them. There are other maps. It, it sucks that we kind of randomed into uh, one of the uh, ones that we've seen many times here before. But the way that this works is that basically, actually, you know what? In fact, I don't really like this map at all. Let's disconnect and we'll, we'll choose a different map for uh, score attack because it's, it's nice, or score battle, I should say. Uh, on some of the maps, there's like ramps and stuff, and that allows you to get higher scores. It just makes sense to play it on something different. Uh, Airborne seems like that would probably be good. I don't remember precisely what that map is, but there's a lot of ramps here, and that is going to give us a lot of opportunities to get points. Uh, so again, this is the uh, game mode that... Oh my god, we already have 600 points on our team. It's first person to 20... or first team to 2,500, so... The fact that we already have 600 is pretty crazy, but anyway... Um... Uh, this is the game mode that I mentioned before, where basically you try to do trick shots, uh, trick shots gain you more points. So, uh, you get like 50 points for a kill, and then I think it stacks a little bit as you get streaks. Uh, at least once you get a dominating streak. Ooh, I did not get the kill there. Um, but, uh, you get more and more kills for doing things like, you know, jumping off edges. You get points, there's, uh, each, each kind of kill has its own superlative. So there's like Top Gun, which is when both enemies are in the air. Slam Dunk, I think, is when you're close to the enemy and you, like, uh, smash them in the top of the head with the ball so you're in the air, they're on the ground. Uh, there's also Duck Hunt, which I think is like as the, uh, as the other person is falling, you hit them when you're on the ground. Or maybe it's just when you're on the ground and you hit someone who's in the air. And there's mid-air, I guess, as well, but I, I can't remember what both of those, or what all of these are. So, uh, let's try to get some stylish kills here. Our team is already kicking ass, so I, I'm not too concerned, but... I should probably try to do something cool. Mostly, you know, my contribution to the team in score battle is just like, don't die and get as many kills as possible. Don't worry too much about style because, you know, I'll, I'll probably cost myself like 20 kills just trying to get kills off the ramp. I really want to catch the ball at some point, but it's substantially more difficult than you might uh, otherwise imagine. Another thing I think that'd be cool to add, I don't know if this is like, everyone's got their own dodgeball rules, right? Like. If you grew up in, like, Boston, you had the Bostonian dodgeball rules where if you do a 360 before you peg a kid in the face, uh, you know, you get an A in gym class for the rest of your life. And then you got, uh, where I'm from, you got those Ontario dodgeball rules. And that allows you to hold onto a ball uh, and bash an, an incoming shot out of the air. Like, that would have worked right there. That was actually a perfect timing uh, to illustrate that example. I would love if you could just, like, right-click or something, and then that would, uh, you know, put up your guard, and if you hit the ball with your ball, you could, like, knock it out of the out of the way. Anyway, it's it's still very much a, a work in progress, as you can tell. And that's really, like, the, the thing that I, I'm dropping as, like, a caveat here, is that I'm having a ton of fun with this game so far. It's still early in development. It's not slated to come out until mid-2014. So, you know, theoretically... Oh, that... Thank God you can't kill your own teammates. Theoretically, that's a lot of time for change, but this could look exactly the same and, and feel exactly the same uh, when it comes out in, you know, four to eight months. Who knows? Um, if that's the case, that kind of sucks, but uh, it's also already well worth the $5. I've already gotten my $5 worth out of this for sure. Uh, and I think it, the time that you can spend with this game scales exponentially exponentially uh, with the number of people that you have uh, that you know that you want to play this with as well. So... I really can't stress enough that it, it's weird for me because I, I will say objectively, well not objectively, but uh, I really think the game looks kind of cheap right now. Not to be derisive, but I, I think that's kind of the position that it's in. Uh, and that's the major hurdle is that I'm, I'm telling you that this game is a whole lot of fun despite its appearances. Because I think a lot of people may share the same uh, sentiment with me on that. And if that's the case, you're really just going to have to take my word at face value here. Or not, in which case I don't know why you're watching the video in the first place, but... Uh, Seriously, like, this is a whole lot of fun. Don't let the fact that maybe it looks a little simplistic uh, deter you too much. If it looks like the kind of thing that you would be into, I could almost guarantee that you'd be into this. This is a very, ex basically at its core, what is this? A very accessible, fun, zany first-person shooter. And it's cheap, and it has online multiplayer, and the online multiplayer actually works, and it's novel. So, you know, those are the greatest strengths that I could say about it. That, and just, like, the satisfaction uh, of the moment-to-moment the -moment gameplay is very, very strong. And uh, the, the kind of feeling of joy you get from an amazing kill, uh, especially, like, amazing and unlikely kills, uh, is, is not necessarily unmatched, but quite strong. Also, I think the aesthetic works fine. Like, the audiovisual stuff as, like, a concept works fine. Uh, I think it just needs a little bit more polish. Music accepted, because the music is already uh, 
glorious. Now, we can't seem to get another 150 points here. I love it. This is like the stylish game mode, and or it's intended to reward style, and I'm just like whipping dodgeballs around like crazy, because I don't have any style. All right, I'll find you savages. Oh, never mind. I didn't even get a chance. How many points did I get? 275. That's goddamn embarrassing. In any case, though, uh, I'm going to end the video here. Apologies for not showing off elimination mode, but I actually didn't do that myself uh, last night. In any case, this is Disco Dodgeball, aka Robot Roller Derby Disco Dodgeball. You can pick this up at the link in the video description below. I believe it is uh, also 82apps.com slash Disco Dodgeball. Currently, you can buy this through the uh, Humble Widget, which will, uh, I'm sure, come with a Steam code if it actually gets greenlit. So, two important links in the video description. If you want to buy it, there's the link to the website. You can pick it up on the Humble Store. Five bucks, half price, uh, or 50% off what it's intended to launch at. Uh, and you'll get all updates for the future version of the game. Second link, also important, even if you don't want to pick up the game for yourself, if this looks like the kind of thing that you would like to see on Steam so it can actually get a community, then make sure to vote for it on Greenlight. Obviously, that is free, uh, and I'm sure it would mean a lot. Now, a lot of games get through Greenlight these days, so it would be nice to have some influence and make sure that one that's actually good and novel makes it through as well. As always, thanks for your support. This has been Disco Dodgeball. Make sure to pick it up uh, via the link in the video description below if you are interested. Cool game! You can see version 0.161. It's got a long way to go, but uh, already there's kind of like the, a nugget of of beautiful gameplay here that I enjoy a great deal. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, I encourage you to click the like button. It does help me out a lot. And subscribe if you want to see more impressions of games like this in the future. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.